Hello everyone, I'm Anuj Nakade and you're watching Live Law. In this video, we bring you news from the Supreme Court about the case against the prominent Aam Aadmi Party leader, Satyendra Kumar Jain. He is a former cabinet minister for health, industries, power, public works department, home and urban development in the Arvind Kejriwal-led Delhi government. He tendered his resignation in February of this year and has been in custody since May of the last year for charges of money laundering. As you know, in 2017, the Central Bureau of Investigation or the CBI accused SK Jain, among others, of money laundering. The allegations against SK Jain are that he carried out money laundering of about 11.78 crores between 2010 to 2012 and rupees 4.63 crores between 2015 to 2016 as a minister in the Delhi government. The allegations say that four companies were key vehicles for this money laundering. Praya Solutions, Indo Metal Impex, Akincha and Developers, and Mangalayatan Projects. A case was then registered by the Enforcement Directorate on the basis of the CBI complaint, alleging that conveyance deeds were signed by Mr. Jain for the purchase of agricultural lands by Prayas Info Solutions in 2011 and 2012. According to the central agency, the land was later transferred to the family members of Mr. Jain's associates. These family members have denied knowledge about the alleged transfers. Then, in 2022, the Enforcement Directorate attached properties worth Rs 4.81 crores from five companies and other accused persons in the money laundering case. In the May of 2022, Mr. S.K. Jain was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in this case. After that, he applied for bail before a trial court in Delhi. The trial court had made a prima facie observation that Mr. Jain was involved in concealing proceeds of crime or money acquired by committing a crime. The court observed that this was done by giving cash to Kolkata-based entry operators and then bringing that cash to three companies by selling shares. This has been alleged to be done to show that the income of these companies was untainted. The trial court, making these observations, dismissed SK Jain's bail application. After that, Mr. Jain filed an appeal against the decision of the trial court in the Delhi High Court. A single judge bench heard the matter. The Delhi High Court dismissed his bail application and made the observation that Mr. Satyendra Jain is an influential person and could potentially tamper evidence if released on bail. While dismissing the bail application, the court also observed that Mr. Satyendra Jain does not meet the twin conditions for bail under Section 45 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. These twin conditions are that there are reasonable grounds for believing that the accused is not guilty of such an offence and that the accused is not likely to commit any offence while on bail. Mr. Jain then challenged the decision of the Delhi High Court in the Supreme Court. The matter was listed for admission today. A two-judge bench of Justice A.S. Bopanna and Justice Hima Kohli heard the matter. During this hearing, Senior Advocate Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who appeared on behalf of Mr. Jain, asked the court for liberty to approach the vacation bench for his bail hearing. This is because the Supreme Court is going to close for vacation from May 22nd and will reopen its regular operations on July 3. The senior counsel told the court that Mr. Jain is going through extreme health problems. His exact words were, and I quote, The man is a skeleton. He has lost 35 kgs. He is facing extreme health problems. He is 416 on the waiting list. Additional solicitor S.V. Raju appeared on behalf of the Enforcement Directorate and was given permission by the court to file objections to Mr. Jain's plea for bail on behalf of the central agency. The Supreme Court has issued notice in the matter. The court has also given liberty to approach the vacation bench to Mr. Jain. That's all we have for you in this video. Hope you found it informative. If you did, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Remember that we'd cover a lot of PMLA cases on this channel and you can watch some of them right here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.